Hello and welcome to this part of the SOLIDWORKS features. In the module 2, we will be looking at how to create a draft feature. The draft feature is used to provide the taper to the face of a solid model. Let's take a look at how to create this draft feature in the SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to first start create another part model and then come back to the same part model that we've created in the part 3 of this module. So let me go ahead and create a new part by clicking on File, New, Part, click OK. And I'm going to use the unit system as millimeters and we'll create the new sketch on the top plane. So I'm going to select the top plane and I'm going to create a polygon. So I will use the sketch entity as the polygon and I will use the inscribed circle to create the six uh, edges and then extruding it. I'll provide the smart dimension here and make it as let us say 150 millimeters as the diameter of the inscribed circle. The other constraint that I want to provide is one of the corner vertex and the origin I'm making it as the horizontal constraint so that the sketch is fully defined. Let's go to features and extrude it and I will extrude it by let us say 200 millimeters to finish off this solid model. Now let's take a look at this draft feature how can be implemented in different ways. Clicking on the draft opens up the dialog box to provide the input in terms of the angle of the draft that we want to create or when we create the tapered face how much should be the angle for that tapered face. The other input option is the neutral plane. The neutral plane will always retain its dimensions whatever the face that we select as the neutral plane will never change its geometry. Then we need to choose the faces that we want to add the taper or the faces that we want to add the draft. So let's go ahead and do it for 15 degrees and if I select the, the top plane of the solid model as the neutral plane Notice the direction of the pool that it assigns by default. It's showing outward and we can change that by going into the reverse direction in the sense that now it's showing inward. Let's choose the outward direction for a minute and let's use one of the draft face here. If I click on this check mark, we can notice that this face which we had selected to draft has been now moved outward by making an angle of 15 degrees. Since the direction of the pool was outward, the material has been added to the existing solid model. If I right click and edit feature, and instead of the outward pool, if I click on the inward pool, then the material will be reduced from the solid model and the draft will be applied inward. If I click on the check mark, you can notice that now the draft is inward with the 15 degrees angle with respect to the vertical direction. You can also notice that there are some of the faces which are affected, the neighboring faces and their geometries are changed in order to provide the draft of 15 degrees to the face that we selected. But the neutral plane geometry is still retained. I'm going to right click on the draft, click on edit feature and instead of just selecting one face, I'm going to select another face to the opposite of it and you can use the multiple faces also. If I change the direction outward and click on the check mark, now we can notice that both these faces that we had selected to be drafted are now pulled outward which means the material has been added and in order to accommodate that draft the other faces also were required to change their geometries. 
although there is no draft provided to those faces, but their geometry is changed. And of course, the neutral plane's geometry is constant as before. Okay. So that is the uh, draft feature. This time we will be clearing out the selections and let's choose one of the vertical faces on the sides as the neutral plane. And now if I, let me clear the selection and make sure that I'm on this input window and let's select one of the side faces as the neutral plane. Now if I click on the top face for the face to be drafted and if the direction of the pull is outward, you can imagine that the, since the material needs to be added because of the outward direction pull, 15 degrees will be applied to the top face in the upward direction so that the material can be added. So if I click OK, you can see this face is lifted. If I right click edit feature and if I change the direction of the pull to be inward, then the material will be reduced and so the face will be pushed in the downward direction. Okay, so that is how we can apply the draft feature to the existing solid model. Let me roll it back and come up to the boss extrude feature and right click on the boss extrude feature to click on the edit feature. You can also notice that when we create the extruded model, we can also provide the draft at that time itself. If I click on this draft icon and activate it and provide the draft angle, let us say 15 degrees, depending on the direction of the pull, if it is outward or inward, you can create the solid model during the extrude operation itself. So if I click on the draft outward, then all the faces that we were trying to extrude it can be extruded in the specified angle with respect to the base sketch. So the idea here is that whatever the sketch that we use to create the extrude feature is automatically used as the neutral plane and the draft can be applied during the extrude stage itself instead of creating an additional draft feature. Now let's go back to our earlier problem that we've created in the part three of this module two, when we were looking at the fillets and chamfer, we can use this draft feature to apply on this part as well. So if I click on the draft feature and let us use 15 degrees as the angle for the draft. For the neutral plane, if I choose the side face of this L-shaped cross section and for the faces to be drafted, if I choose this horizontal uh, you know, face and click OK, notice the direction of the pull, which is outward. So the material is going to be added and the face is going to be lifted by 15 degrees. We can also edit feature here and instead of this horizontal face, if I select the vertical face on its side, and if the direction of the pool is outward, you can imagine that this face is going to be brought outward. So if I click OK, just to verify that, and that is how we can create the draft feature. In the next video, we will take a look at how to create the reference planes and the rib feature.